It is the 6th, the 2nd, 2012, and this is tonight's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Got a magnitude 6.7 earthquake according to the USGS off the Philippines. We're actually in right about in the middle of the island region of the Philippines. Uh, not really too close to Manila, but it's a relatively shallow 46.6 kilometers deep. Japan record lows in 38 locations, uh, well below zero. Kaishu and Hakan, Hakan, Hakaido and more cold looms. The, the country experienced severe cold and weather Friday morning as temperatures dropped to record lows at 38 locations nationwide. Uh, they go on to say temperatures were below zero early Friday at more than 90% of 927 observation points across Japan. The United Kingdom snow forces Heathrow to cancel half of its flights. Uh, they say they're back up and running, but uh, it was one heck of a snowstorm. Um, passengers, of course, are still being delayed. They're catching up um, and all of that. Snow traps thousands in Bosnian villages. Uh, this is the big storm rolling through. Uh, got reports coming out of people actually fighting over loaves of bread uh, in the stores <clears throat> because uh, thousands of people are left stranded, of course, by its heaviest snowfall ever. And Pope Den Benedict donned an overcoat to bless his few pilgrims who brave Rome's unusually cold weather to visit St. Peter's Square. The snow is beautiful, but let's hope spring comes soon, says the Pope. And, uh... Looking out over the remnants of the Pope's biggest snowstorm, or Rome's biggest snowstorm since 1986. Vanuatu earthquake magnitude 6.0 on the 5th. Uh, yeah, relatively shallow. And this is an ongoing volcano, volcanic island on the Ring of Fire. Europe cold snap kills hundreds, affects transportation and tourism. And the week-long cold snap has now claimed more than 220 lives across Europe with forecasters warning that the big freeze, which is, has even blanketed Rome and snow, could tighten its grip over the weekend. So you're not out of the woods yet. Another, another earthquake out of Vanuatu, uh, 6.1 this time, uh, just again a very active volcanic area. And of course the 5.7 off of Vancouver Island in Canada on the 4th. And, uh, yeah, that's about all new they have. Over to the Watchers, they've got a story out. Fire broke out at a Moscow nuclear research center on Sunday, making it the third nuclear event in seven days. <clears throat> Fire broke out at a Moscow nuclear research center on Sunday, but officials said there is no risk of a radiation leak. Where have we heard this before? The facility, situated just southwest of the city, houses a 60-year-old non-operational atomic reactor. According to the officials, the fire broke out in an area of the institute where there are no sources of radiation. All personnel were immediately evacuated, of course, and there are no casualties, the statement said. And again, they're looking into it. <clears throat> And more aurora borealis as we get the solar winds uh, around the Arctic Circle. And that's about all new they've got going on. Over to the Ice Age now because they're covering a lot of this stuff in the European snow. Uh, record snowfall in Bosnia. Ser Sarajevo is paralyzed. More than 100 remote villages cut off by 6.5 feet. That's over 2 meters of snow. Africa's hit by snow again, and uh, you remember Algeria got hit not too long ago. They've got videos out uh, where they've got some pretty decent snow <clears throat> for uh, North Africa, and that's how far south this big cold wave and this big storm system has moved into. Uh, Europe deep freeze, death toll passes 300, with temperatures plunging as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius in places. Again, Bosnia declares a state of emergency, and here's the story about Fist fights over loaves of bread in Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina on Saturday. EU braces for a potential gas crisis in lieu of this big cold front. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and then Italy got hit hard. 160,000 households without electricity in south-central Italy. Um, that's about all new they've got going on tonight. Over to the RSOE. Of course, we've got the flooding going on in Australia, the state of New South Wales, uh, the state of Queensland, 
uh, storms and, and flooding rivers and all of that. Uh, uh, they're saying not quite as severe as last year, but still pretty pretty extensive uh, flooding going on. Snowstorms going on in uh, many prefectures in Japan. Uh, no nuclear warning whatsoever with those storms. And again, the cold wave, uh, Bulgaria, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, Russia, Poland, Romania, Serbia, Ukraine. Uh, more extreme weather reports coming out of the state of Victoria, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, storms going on there. Forest fires in Chile. Da -da -da. Big flooding in Greece. Apparently the flooding is so bad in some areas they're actually having to use helicopters to come rescue people off their houses because they're flooding in, that kind of thing. And, uh, of course, the big snowstorm in the United Kingdom. That's about all new climate change-wise I have tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, i got some pretty big stuff going on. <clears throat> Reactor number two, this is Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Temperatures continue rising up 20 degrees Celsius in the last four days. It's up three degrees Celsius in the last five hours at the time of this report. And again, what's, what's going on in number two? Uh, temperature rising at reactor number two. Pressure vessel Fukushima worker more worried about number two than number four. And we're all worried about number four. Press watches as government dumps radioactive waste into Tokyo Bay. Japan is a huge nuclear tea bag in the Pacific Ocean, and uh, the ocean currents are doing its due course. Enjoy your seafood, everyone, because they're not testing for it. Uh, 573 deaths related to nuclear crisis. Uh, that is a slap in the face to all the victims. That is a Fukushima. Um. Professor on NHK study to help look at what Fukushima impact on humans might be 300 years from now. Uh, how about 10,000 years from now? This is plutonium we're dealing with. This is dirty, dirty MOX fuel. Uh, TEPCO whistleblower says reactor number four, very unstable and dangerous. More people are concerned about the situation. This is the one Arnie Gunderson's obviously worried about. Uh, they said well, there was an open reactor when all this took place. First they said there wasn't any fuel in the reactor. Now they said it was full of fuel when this took place. And um, of course the storage fuel up above it is leaking twice as fast uh, now than it was uh, just a few weeks ago. And um, they can't seem to figure out what heat tape is for their pipelines for these cooling systems and their pipes continue to burst. Um, just extensive stupidity rampant. Uh, that is Fukushima Daiichi. And uh, Japan Times, there could be hot spots under the sea. No telling when contamination levels will peak. One third of fish caught in Gama Lake over the maximum cesium limit. Enjoy your seafood, everyone. They are raising the limit. I believe they're discussing whether to raise their limit for baby formula from 50 becquerels per kilogram to 100 becquerels per kilogram, just doubling the rate when um, studies have come out what 20 becquerels per kilogram is doing to uh, <clears throat> nuclear workers out of Germany. Um, just the insanity, the insanity that is Japan. Um, that's about all I'm going to throw at you tonight. Uh, there's definitely more stories here. Definitely want to take care of it and check into it. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.